Okay, John, um, it's the first opportunity I've got to speak to you since you've signed a new contract. Just get your initial thoughts on that. Obviously, um, when I spoke to you last year as well, you know, from first hand that I enjoyed my time here, so um, at the end of the day, you've got to stay where you're happy. And uh, a great bunch of lads, and obviously the manager, um, Mick and, and Wendy, played a huge part, and obviously the, the whole idea is going full time as well is obviously the main factor, which was the holding point at the start, obviously it hadn't been announced yet, but I was over and I was, everything had been agreed until I was just making sure the full time thing was there, so um, as soon as that got done then we eventually got the papers signed and stuff and it was, it was all, all good from there, yeah, so. And it's, there's no secret there that there's been offers and different things on the table for you, but at such a unique time in the club's history that there, there is investment and there is opportunities for a player of your calibre, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's exciting as a player. No, no, definitely it is. It's very exciting, as I said to you just before off camera there, that it's, a, it's an exciting place to be right now. So, um, as I said, I came here last year and I really enjoyed it, and the boys were excellent with me. All the boys looked after me, Callum Burnley and everyone all looked after me all the time. I was over here, obviously, I was over here last year from Thursday to Sunday, and the club used to fly me in and out. So, the club were excellent with me that way as well, and they let me still train back at home full time. And then, as I said before in an interview, that I kind of felt as much as you don't really owe anybody anything, I kind of felt as if I owed the club a little bit. Because um, they took that opportunity, uh, they took the chance for, for to sign me when I came here. And as I said before, I, I really enjoyed it. So I felt as if I wanted to come back and help the club um, progress and get to where I, where I feel as if the club should be. And then the end of the day, it's down to us, the players. So I wanted to be part of that. And then, as I said, Monday, uh, Wendy and Mick was was a huge factor, and obviously the full time as well. So. And when I spoke to you at the start of last season, you were sort of coming back from a hernia and played a lot of games and across the league. What was your sort of real? Thoughts on Irish football in your first season? Obviously, last year I think I played maybe 35, 36 games or something, something like that. And I played most games, obviously, apart from that we um, red card incident I got and then missed a game. So every other game I played and I really enjoyed it. As I said, with, as you said there, with, there, was, there was ups and downs throughout the whole year. I think we played really well in parts and all parts where it was our own individual errors that cost us. And obviously, as a team, we didn't perform well in some big games, especially the, the last one against Clutterville. I think. Um, we could have performed better and maybe got that, that final Europa League spot, uh, playoffs or whatever, but as you said, yes, I've been here the whole last year, played a lot of games and now I kind of know, as, I feel as if I know, the, I know the league a lot better and I know the teams and, and what to expect, as she said last year, it was my first year here and I didn't really know what to expect, but it's a few good teams, um, obviously the league's got a lot better this year with the, as you said before, the the funds coming in here and obviously land coming up, everyone knows about them and then Crusaders, um, Alameda doing really well as well and then Obviously the rivals across across the road at Linfield as well, it's always a tasty game as well. So I see that it could be a it could be a really good year this year and obviously for us we've got the investment and a lot of new players coming in as well. So we're all pushing the hopefully we're all pushing the same same direction. We can get further up the league as I said where I feel as if the club should be. And finally, what is it just like to be around this place? I mean the Oval's a special stadium, I know you said that when you came for your first time, you looked around, looked at the fans have really bought into you as a player you are. What what's it like to be around the club? Oh it's excellent. Even not even just take away the whole football situation because at the end of the day all those players we go out and we play, we perform, we try hardest. You can't play well every game and every player's like that, every player in here that's what I like about the team. Everyone's honest, they work hard, you're playing good, bad or indifferent, yeah. They'll give a hundred percent and I think some most of the fans here anyway accept that. So the football side takes care of it itself, but even as I said, the, the club's huge, and I, I didn't know, obviously before I came in before, how big it was until I actually came and seen all the fans around about the city and everything. Even when I'm walking about the city and stuff, they'll talk, they'll stop you and talk to you, and they're always nice. And to be fair, even other clubs over over here as well, their fans will talk to you, and it's a very easy going 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 good place. So as I said to people before, Glasgow and Belfast very similar, but. Um, Glen Torrance is special, that's why I felt as if I kind of owed the club a little bit back. And obviously you see like last year we were, we were going through a sticky spell and we were playing really well and we were, we were dropping down out into the bottom six and stuff, they were all still there, they were travelling. I think there was one game we played away from home in Uri and you could see thousands of them came down and travelled down and that's the bits that the players like and obviously stays with and for me that's that's the bit I like. So as I say that when I go out if I play good, bad or whatever then I always you can always guarantee that I'll give 100% and I think that's what the fans here can it's the minimum thing you can give for but the fans here really appreciate that and as you said the bottom of me and I've, I've enjoyed playing here for them and as I said before I feel as if I learned a little bit so this year hopefully we can go on and, and go on and do well and hopefully the, uh, all the fans come back as, as I've obviously spoke to a lot of people around about the area and they said that 
as much as a lot of fans still come here, there's still a lot that aren't, that aren't here as much anymore. So um, hopefully, if we get a good start and stuff, then we're all pushing the same direction as I say, and then then this place could be full and bouncing every week. So you never know, yeah. So.